Right, guys, welcome to Research Methods question five. This is the last question for this round of statistical testing. And as you can see, it is a seven marker on determining an appropriate statistical test. Seven marks accounts for around 7% in the exam. And while that doesn't sound like a lot, in any given year, that's almost the difference between two grades. Okay, because the difference between two grades is around 10%. So, it's a question where you want to maximize your marks if possible. So, pause the video there if you want to have a go at the question yourself, and if you need a quick recap, the video lesson on this is at the top of your screen now, so you can have a look at that and remind yourself what it's all about if you want to. So, this is a seven marker, and you are going to get one mark for naming the correct statistical test, or for naming an appropriate statistical test, and a further six marks for saying why you are going to choose that test. So, let's start with the test. Now, an appropriate statistical test here is an unrelated t-test. There are other options that the mark scheme will let you have, for example, a Mann-Whitney test, but obviously your justifications are going to be different if you choose a different test. Now, before I start writing my justifications, just remember we use an unrelated t-test with an unrelated test of difference where the data is at an interval level. Okay, so here comes my reasoning. Okay, now keep in mind here, you must link your reasoning to the stem. You've got two marks available for every justification, so it's not enough to simply say that the study is unrelated and then move on. You have to say why the study is unrelated, and you have to use the information in the study to do that. Okay, and so as you can see on my answer, I've highlighted the bit from the study that is important and the bit that it links to in terms of the reasoning. Okay, so make sure that you do that, otherwise you will not access the full marks available for this question. Okay, so I hope that's been useful, and I hope that's all made sense, and thank you very much for listening.